Hi, this is Amy Lewis, and we're here for a special instructional episode of Engineers Unplugged. And for once, uh, joke's on me, I don't know what's going to happen here. <laughs> so I'm here with my buddy, Dave Henry, and he's going to teach me a whiteboarding game called Magic Balloon. So Dave, take it away. So Magic Balloon is a, a free-form creativity exercise done as a competitive game for whiteboarding. It's a great game. Uh, I enjoy playing it with my sons. I hear other people talk about playing it with their kids. But it's also a great thing to do with somebody who isn't used to whiteboarding and feels they aren't creative enough. But it's a great way to just get creative juices flowing. So the point of Magic Balloon is we always start with the balloon. So I'm going to, I like to go with red balloons. They're always my favorite. But you know, it's a helium balloon, so we need a string to make sure it's, it's up here. So now, what, what we do with Magic Balloon is we're going to become teams. One of us is going to try to pop the balloon, and one of us is trying to protect the balloon. Now, having met both of us, I think most people would agree I'm more offensive of the two of us. So I'm going to take the offense side and be attacking the balloon, and you're going to try and defend it. So there's two rules, and only two rules. You never draw anything already having happened. It's, you always draw it just about to happen, so the other person has a chance to respond. And nothing can be repeated. So the traditional opening move in Magic Balloon is to try and pop the balloon with a pin. But since this is Engineers Unplugged, I'm going to have a unicorn attempting to pop the balloon with its horn. And again, this will be a, a very poor, uh, poor unicorn here, but here we go. So there's a unicorn about to, uh, about to pop the balloon with its horn. All right, so I know the best way to distract unicorns. I've done this, but this is not my first rodeo. So uh, this is a cast iron skillet, and what you can't see but is happening, you know what's in that cast iron skillet, bacon. So the bacon is distracting the unicorn. Okay, well, now bacon is only distracting as a smell when it's cooking, so with the fire here. So uh, since we, we've already done other imaginary creatures here, I'm going to bring in a little uh, a, a gnome with a bucket of water about to put out the fire. See, what do, what do we do? Gnomes have little pointy hats. So uh, he's going to put out the fire so that the bacon smell can't distract the unicorn. The unicorn will pop the balloon. Oh, but as we all know, gnomes are susceptible to contracts. They're very popular in commercials. So I'm going to, there's somebody, an agent, talent agent, who is coming with a really, um, you know, that's a lot of money. That's a contract for a lot of money. Um, that the agent is coming to distract the gnome to try to hire them for commercial purposes. Well, since you know gnomes are, are famous for looking for lucrative contracts in the travel field, uh, turns out uh, the agent, you know, William Shatner is over here, and uh, he's looking to possibly sign on with a new travel partner, and the agent becomes distracted and uh, goes after William Shatner instead. Now, you end up with this sort of thing all the time, imagine, this, this chain of continuing chain of growing events. The great thing is when you run out of ideas, well, okay, if, if, if I hadn't been able to think of what to do about the agent, I can just say, oh, well, now I'm going to try another way to attack the balloon. And you, the game ends when you run out of ideas or when there's no more white space on the whiteboard anymore. There's typically never any winner, but you've just engaged in the creativity exercise. And this is a great way, people who don't understand how to use white space or that when you're whiteboarding, particularly in front of a customer, when you're talking with them about ideas, you're free to do anything you want on the whiteboard. You can use whatever space is available, bring in those extra ideas, and it can get your message across very clearly and be a lot of fun. This is fantastic. This is a first for Engineers Unplugged, but we love bringing you ideas. We're obviously big fans of the whiteboard and uh, really appreciate this, Dave. This is fantastic. Thank you, and we'll see you next time on Engineers Unplugged.